Hi, I'm Mark Green and this is my co-worker Sander Romers. Today we want to talk to you about the Novatool Pun-M Mobile Finger Punch and demonstrate some of its features and benefits. This portable yet durable mobile finger punch is designed to punch fingers on the ends of lightweight thermoplastic conveyor belts as a preparation tool for making straight finger or finger over finger splices. The Pun-M is 100% manually operated not requiring any electricity or air pressure for operation. The punching force of up to 11,000 pounds is easily achieved by simply pulling on the C-frame punch lever. Because of its easy setup and manual operation, the Pun-M is an ideal tool for punching fingers in the field as well as in the belt shop. Let's get started. Let's make sure that the punch is set up to punch the finger dimensions required for the job by reviewing the punch block and the punch board. For the punch block, first loosen the fixation screw on the C-frame wedge until you're able to slide it out. Ensuring the tray is in the forward position, twist the C-frame away from the support table to remove. The punch block can be positioned two ways, vertically for longer fingers and horizontally for shorter fingers. Loosen the two set screws that are holding the punch block in the current horizontal position. Slide the punch block off the two spring pins and remove the two set screws, replacing them so they can lock the punch block in the vertical position. Insert the two spring pins into the guide holes of the punch block, securing it in place with the two set screws. Next, change out the punch board to the desired finger geometry by unscrewing the four hex bolts. Because we position the punch block in the vertical position, we can install a punch board with longer fingers. At the rear of the punch frame, there are tabs to store a punch board. The punch board gets secured to the punch board tray with the four hex bolts. Reinstall the C-frame. To secure the C-frame, reinstall the C-frame wedge and turn the fixation screw clockwise. Now I want to show you how to punch for a finger over finger splice. There are three tasks to complete for a finger over finger splice. One, ensure the punch block is in the horizontal position. Two, ensure the correct punch board is installed. A 50 by 20 punch board will be used in this demonstration. Three, ply separate both belt ends to a four and a quarter inch or 108 millimeter depth using the ply 130 separator. Now the pun M is ready and the belt ends have been separated, we can ensure the punch board tray is in the forward most position and locked into place. Insert the belt with the top cover up flush against the back edge of the punch board tray. Align the left edge of the belt with the top of the V pattern or peak and lock into place. Fold back the top layer of the belt so that it completely clears the punch block and begin the punch process by starting in the middle of the belt. Once completed, keep the belt clamped and remove the belt waist and loosen the fingers from the punch board prior to unlocking the belt support tray and sliding it to the backmost position and locking in place. Lay the top cover over the already punched fingers and repeat the punching process again, starting in the middle of the belt. Remove excess belt material and remove the belt. For the second belt end, 
unlock the punch board tray and move to the frontmost position and then lock into place. Install the opposite belt end with the cover side down flush against the back edge of the punch board tray. Align the left edge of the belt with the bottom of the V pattern or the belly. Repeat the punching process for both the top and bottom plies. Both belt ends are now prepared for the splicing operation. Now I want to show you how to punch a bias finger over finger. There are four tasks to complete when preparing to punch a finger over finger bias. One, ensure the punch block is in the horizontal position. Two, ensure the correct punch board is installed. For this demonstration, we will be using the 50 by 18 by 31 5 to 3 bias board. Three, prepare both belt ends by cutting the belt ends on a five to three bias. And four, ply separate both belt ends to a four and a quarter inch or 108 millimeter depth using the ply 130 separator. Ensure the punch board support tray is located at the front most position and locked in place. Insert the first belt end cover side up and flush up against the back of the support tray with the left belt edge aligned with the top of the V or peak. Clamp the belt in place. Fold back the top ply of the belt so that it completely clears the punch block. Start by punching the bottom ply in the center and then at both ends. Complete by punching the remainder of the belt. Once completed, keep the belt clamped and remove the belt waist and loosen the fingers from the punch board prior to unlocking the belt support tray and sliding it to the backmost position and locking in place. Lay the top cover over the already punched fingers and repeat the punching process again starting in the middle of the belt. Remove the excess and unclamp and remove the belt from the unit. For the second belt end, unlock the punch board tray and move it to the frontmost position and lock in place. Insert the second belt end cover side up and flush up against the back of the support tray with the right belt edge aligned with the bottom of the V or valley. Clamp the belt in place. Lift the top ply of the belt up and then tuck the bottom layer under the punch board tray. Once the bottom ply is out of the way, lay the top ply down and punch the fingers starting with the center of the belt. Once completed, keep the belt clamped and remove the belt waist and loosen the fingers from the punch board prior to unlocking the belt support tray and sliding it to the back most position and locking in place. Lift up the bottom ply and position it over the punch board. Begin punching the fingers starting with the center of the belt. Once completed, remove the excess and unclamp and remove the belt from the unit. Both ends of the belt are now prepared for the splicing operation. For more information about the Novatool Pun-M Mobile Finger Punch and other innovative splicing and maintenance products from Flexco, contact your local Flexco representative or visit flexco.com.